In this video, I am going to introduce you to Docs GPT. Docs GPT is an open source tool that streamlines the process of finding information in your project documentation. You can in fact upload any documentation in various formats including TXT, PDF and few others and then you can start chatting and searching within that document by using this Docs GPT. This Docs GPT has various other advantages. You can use paid uh, models like OpenAI or you can use um, other open source models such as their own and also some of the Falcon ones. Few of the other features which are mentioned on their GitHub repo are flexible documentation sources I just mentioned. You can use documentation, manuals, guides, confluence documents or anything in between. It uses machine learning behind the scene and you don't even have to worry about how it is working behind the scene because and you don't have to be a machine learning expert in order to use it. You can use it with various LLMs as I mentioned and then the interface is quite cool and I will show it to you shortly. Their CLI ingestion is also very simple and you, as soon as you install it, you can simply upload your document, train it and then you can start using it. Local installation is also very simple and let me show you how you can do it. You can either use Amazon Lightsail or you can use any Ubuntu instance in order to install it. In this document, which is provided by uh, the researchers of this Docs GPT, they have used Lightsail, which is an AWS service in their cloud, where you can easily provision an Ubuntu instance and start using it. But as I said, you can use any Ubuntu instance hosted anywhere. So provided you already have created the light sale instance, which is very easy and the resources you need are very, very minimal, such as one GB of RAM, one CPU, and then 40 gig of hard disk. Now, uh, the data transfer is a bit huge. Mind you, it is around two terabytes, so you need to be aware of that. Once that's done, you can simply clone their GitHub repo, which I just showed you from here. And you can just go up, click on this green button and grab this URL. Once that's done, update the whole Ubuntu instance, install Docker, install Docker Compose, and then cd to that directory the github repo you have just cloned and then in the env file in that repo get your own openai api key if you are using the openai gpt chat gpt models and you would need to pay them 20 dollar a month if you are using that which i don't uh, really recommend but anyway i will also show you how to use other llms once that's done just run the docker compose and then after providing your instance ip which is amazon light, uh, light cell instance ip and then once you have finished running this docker compose your instance will be up also make sure to enable and open this port 5173 so that you'll be able to access it publicly and once that done you will have an interface like this in this interface all you need to do is to, on the left hand side, click on this upward arrow and then from here, just select any file and then it, as soon as you select the file, it will upload it and train that file. I already have uploaded one file to save time because once the first time you upload it, it goes through that file and trains a uh, docs GPT model on it. So I already have done it and then you can start chatting with it. Maybe I'll ask it what is the topic of talk moment the pretty generic question so let's see if it is able to detect it okay now uh, the reason why it is giving me this because source talk is se selected as uh, docs gpt let me select the one which i uploaded this is the one i uploaded let me ask it again what is the topic of document Maybe let's ask simply this that is correct so this is the oracle database concepts 11g would you please explain what is 
Pimon process in Oracle database. Let's see if it is able to find it. That's amazing because that is totally uh, correct. This is a Pimon process. So you can see that you can upload any document and then search through it. And it will not only give you the correct answer, but it will also give you the whole context around it. Simply amazing. Let me ask it one more question. Could you summarize the document in two paragraphs? Each paragraph should be of five lines maximum. Let's see. So that is amazing. Um, and it has also given you the warning at the end that this might not cover all the details, which is fine. And okay. So uh, one last question, let me ask it. What is the Oracle database version? mentioned in this document. So sometimes because we have various versions of Oracle, then um, it is always good to know that something happened there, I don't know what. Maybe I will reload it to see if it works. I have reloaded my browser, let me ask it again. My document is already selected. Oops, it's not working, okay, no worries. So maybe I'll change it to this and I'll just ask to put this document. Nice, so there is no mention of here, that is fine. Let me go back in that document and ask it again. Oops, okay, it is, it has stopped doing anything in that document, it seems. Anyway, but still I believe a very uh, fast, inference and very the quality responses we received and it's fairly easy and as you can see that um, hosting it is very easy installing locally very easy all you need is a prerequisite as docker if you uh, are trying to install it and facing an issue let me know and i'll be happy to you know, help you out and if you uh, want me to create a step-by-step -step, uh, installation video on light sale for this let me know and i'll do it soon. Thanks for watching and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.